This is what two thousand dollars cash looks like. Um, yeah, this is like um, what most people make every month. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what do most people make every month? I don't know. So, yeah, this is uh, pretty nice here. And uh, definitely make sure to check out my other. Um, Welcome everyone, this is William for Phantom Drawing, and today we're going to be taking a look at the replica style $20 bills. Now, right now what you're seeing is we have uh, we have an actual $20 bill right here, as you can see. Here's the front of it. And here is the back. And uh, here is, uh, these are some 20s that I got from uh, Amazon. Um, let me just take one out. So, here is the front of this. And here is the uh, back of this. Alright, and here is uh, the um, PropMovieMoney.com 20s. So here's the front of this one. And here is the back of this one. By the way, you can click the card right here if you want to see uh, my unboxing and review. I've done these. I've actually done uh, the unboxing along with the uh, 50s. So I've done a video about um, the 50s and 20s. They were both together, so I, I reviewed the 50s and 20s together, unboxing and review. Again, you can click the card if you want to see that video. All right, so let's take a look at the um, replica style um, $20 bills. Now, before you, you would be getting the, you know, I recommend, you know, you get the replica style bills from, um, you know, strobeprops.com, uh, but, you know, because of all the drama that's went down with strobe props, I really can't recommend you buy from there just because I don't want anyone, you know, getting ripped off. If you guys want to uh, read the full story about what went down with strobe props, you can actually click the link in my bio. I actually have a, uh, a link that will take you to my Instagram, and you can, you know, read a post. Or will take you to the Instagram post, and you can actually read that. It's pretty long, so, you know, make sure you have some time to read, read it. And if you have any questions regarding that post, just, you know, comment, and I'll be sure to answer any uh, questions you may have about that. But yeah, if you want to hear the what, you know, what, what went down with uh, strobeprops.com, uh, you know, click the link in the bio. You can read the, um, the full Instagram post. Alright, let's get this open. Again, I have it like this because you know, I don't want you uh, seeing my address. Alright. <laughs> That's the worst way to rip something open. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else in there. Alright. Alright, let's get this open. Again, very typical of the way, you know, the replica style bills are. This type of packaging. Let's open it up like that, and it's probably going to be in the ceram wrap as usual. Yep, as you can see, it's in the uh, ceram wrap. By the way, here, let me just put the actual 20 in the background, as you can see. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Let's just uh, take it off. Man, I've been doing so many prop money videos, it's actually getting actually tiring. <laughs> I haven't worked this hard in such a long time. But hey, at least the pay is good. <laughs> well, I mean, it's starting to get good, but, you know, it's still bad. All right. Here it is. Can I, can I, oh, there we go. This is really, really cool. I'm going to have to count them. And I'm, actually, let's see if they're just as smooth as uh, the, the, you know, replica stuff. Oh, yeah. Very, look at that, very smooth. Now, one thing about the replica, replica style bills is they're super smooth, like no other prop money on the market is, is just as um, buttery smooth. It's just very consistent. Just look how consistent that is. Now, if I compare that to, um, you know, prop movie money, if I try to do that with uh, prop movie money, let's actually um, do that with some prop movie money. I mean, you can still do it, but it's just kind of sloppy.
<laughs> if I, uh, let's just try it one more time. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of sloppy, I think. I mean, it's, it, it, it wasn't, that wasn't bad, but like, If I compare it to, um, you know, just how smooth this is, watch this. You can just hear how smooth that is. It, it just, it's just have that, that, that evenness. It's very even. It's not like, you know, but yeah. Anyway, let, let's just count it. I'm, it's just wasting time. Oh, by the way, let me do that with uh, these ones as well. These are the, um... No, this one's actually not bad, actually. That's kind of smooth. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Wow. By the way, these ones are actually very thin. Um, prop Movie Money, they're the thickest. I think Prop Movie Money and, uh, again, the replica style, they actually, they're like the same thickness. So, um, they're, they're pretty thick, but these are actually very thin, as you can see, sagging down like that. Anyway, yeah, sorry for, <laughs> sorry for wasting your time there. Um, yeah. Anyway, so, I'm just going to turn the camera off real quick, and actually, I'm actually going to count these up, and, uh, yeah, let's do that now. Alright, just got done counting these puppies, and, uh, apparently, one thing I noticed, oh, by the way, it is a, a hundred of them, so no extras. Um, with the replica style, um, let's see, with the, uh, replica style hundreds, I actually did get, like, I think I got, like, um, was it like six or seven extra bills, which was pretty cool. That was, that was really cool, actually. But, uh, these are definitely my favorite, the, uh, old style, um, hundreds from, uh, you know, the rep replica style. Now, some of the replica styles I don't actually like when I look at the pictures. Like, I don't like the way the 50s look. I feel like they look very, uh, not very color accurate. And then the, um... The, the new style hundreds, I feel like the strip could, could be a bit more realistic. You know, it's just like a blue line going down the middle, not very realistic. Um, I think prop move, um, PropMoney.com actually did a really good job with the, the new style hundreds, so I definitely want to take a look at that. Um, but they do look, they do seem to lack a little bit of that color accuracy. That's one thing I do want to mention. But uh, yeah, so anyway, so I got them uh, counting these. And I noticed um, the colors are a bit off on some of them. It's not consistent. So... When I look at this one, this one looks a lot more green than uh, this one. So, look at that. The um, look at that. This this looks a lot more green, and this one looks a lot more. This one looks a lot more pale, and then this one looks more green. Look at that. And actually, there's some of them. Actually, yeah, here's a couple of them that have. Uh, yeah, so you can see as I'm. I wonder if you can see it in the lighting. Because I have my daylight bulbs on, so you might not really be able to see. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so here's three of them that have more of a green color. And then here's some of them that have more of a uh, pale color. But yeah, anyway, let's just compare them separately. So you can see this, they're, they're both the same build. They're both, you know, replica style builds, but one, the color... Yeah, this one's more green and this one's more pale. So it's like the the printer was uh, was inconsistent when it was, when it came to printing these bills. And you can see it looks like there's even little markings over here too. Um, on this one, like little yellow markings there. Look at that, which is pretty interesting. And it's not like that on this bill. So um, that's that's pretty interesting. Um, let's take a look on the back. Yeah, you know, the, so the colors are definitely inconsistent. Yeah, there's a little bit, there's some of that yellow um, happening over here. Yeah, see some of that yellowness. Like, there's like three spots. Like right here, right there, and right there. There's nothing here, though. So that is pretty interesting. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's compare it to an actual um, $20 bill. Yeah, but it's pretty interesting how some are, um, you know, different colors so uh, that's definitely not a good sign <laughs> but uh, anyway so yeah I ordered this um, from Bonanza ordered it on Monday March 4th and it arrived on uh, Wednesday March 6th so it only took two days to come um, I do live in Iowa so you know and I think uh, this company they're based out of uh, 
uh, Miami, Florida. So they're based in Miami, Florida. I live in Iowa. It took two days. So that's pretty nice. You know, very, very fast um, for me anyway. It might take longer for you. But the, yeah, let's compare it to an actual 20. <laughs> let's stop wasting your time. Okay, so I wonder if I should compare it to the... Because you have two different colors. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, so we have the darker one and the lighter one, but yeah. I'll probably just do both of them then. Um, let's start with the, the one that's more green. So here is an actual $20 bill, and then here is um, the replica style uh, $20 bill on the bottom. Okay, so here's the front. As you can see, um, they both say the United, the United States of America, which is really, really cool. So we have the United States of America, the United States of America. Um, we have the um, serial number, and then um, we have replica, replacing uh, the um, the L12 or the the letter and the number. So replica is kind of replacing that. We have the United States of America. The United, um, oh yeah, this is where it differs. So an actual 20 says the United States Federal Reserve System. And the um, fake one obviously says we are united. We are united. And in the fine print, you can see on an actual $20 bill, it says this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. On the fake one, it says this note is not legal. It is to be used for motion pictures. And over here, it says not the real secretary. And it says series 2017. Um, this is not a treasury. Oh, this is not a treasurer. And you can see an actual 20 says secretary of the treasury series 2013. Um, treasurer of the United States. And you can see the signature is different. You know, again, um, you can watch my $1 bills uh, video I've done of the uh, replica style and I, you know, I talked about how the signatures are different on actual series 2017 um, notes. Also on the green part you can see on the fake one it says for motion picture use only and then the actual one says, on the actual 20 says the, the Department of the Treasury. Yeah. I know some of you probably get annoyed by me pointing all this out to you because like, oh, uh, we can read, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll probably stop, but um, we have Jackson, and do we have Jackson here as well? No, no, actually we don't. We have this is a replica. All right, so let me just, uh, yeah, you can pause the video, take a good look at that. We have in frame. Yep. Okay, let's look at the back. So, on the back, on the actual um, $20 bill, you can see, um, pretty consistent, the United States of America and God we trust. Is there any differences? Let's see. So on the actual $20 bill, it says uh, the White House. And on the fake, it says this is a replica. Again, it has those, uh, those, those, those three, the three uh, yellow stains there. So there we go. And also on the actual 20, you can see the little 20s going all across the bill. And do we have that with the fake? Let's see. Uh, no, we actually don't. We don't have the small 20s going through the, um, all over the bill. That's interesting. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, you guys can pause the video, take a good look at that. Let's look at the front uh, one more time. Okay, so let's talk about color accuracy. I feel like um, um, there's a so some things I don't like about these bills is I feel like this part over here should be a little it should be a lot darker. Um, see an actual one, the United States, the United States of America is dark. Uh, that is just too light. It definitely needs um, some more darkness over there. So I, I don't like that. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, I think the actual one definitely looked like it just has a lot more contrast to it. This one just seems a bit like, you know, it's lacking some of those, uh, some of those darks. Um, when you look at the face, it looks a little too pale, maybe. But, you know, I, I think they did a good job. It's definitely uh, a lot more color accurate than these ones. Um, <laughs> look at these. These are 
these are just terrible when you look at the color accuracy. Here's an actual 20 and then here's this fake one that I got um, from Amazon last year. That is just um, not good. Let's compare the back. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely not good. It looks faded. All right, so uh, <laughs> this video went on way too long. I think I said everything. Did I say everything I had to say? Yeah, so color accuracy is the only thing that I, I think could be improved on um, is I think they need to darken uh, this part over here to the United States of America. And uh, um, I'm holding two fake bills. Uh, yeah, here's the actual one. Yeah, so um, yeah, I think so. There's they come in, they have these, they range in these different colors. So here's the one that's like super green, and then here's the one that's a little bit more pale. Um, or do I, actually wait, no, these ones are both green. Let me see this here. Okay, yeah. Alright, so this one's green. And then this one's more pale. So, um, so the issues seem to be that the printer is very inconsistent when it comes to the color of these bills, which is definitely not good. And, um, so here's the more pale one. Let's compare that to the actual $20 bill. As you can see, this is the fake one on the bottom. Let's take a look at the back. So definitely leave some comments. Tell me what are you seeing? What do you think? What are your opinion about this? But uh, these are actually very realistic. Um, they're uh, very accurate in terms of, you know, they say the United States of America and they say all the uh, really cool things. Um, but they have their disclaimers in the fine print. And uh, yeah, that's actually really, really cool. So um, yeah, what do I think about these? I think they're actually pretty nice. Um, uh, here's the ones from Prop Movie Money, by the way. Uh, let's compare that to an actual 20. And you can definitely see the ones from Prop Movie Money are definitely are not color accurate um, either, as you can see. And let's look at the back. Yeah, definitely not color accurate there. And of course, um, you know, the replica style obviously says, um, you know, it doesn't say for motion pictures, only in big letters. Okay, so uh, I think that is definitely about it. So I paid, um, you know, subtotal was $22.99. And the shipping was free. And uh, yeah, so yeah, the uh, the full total, just uh, $22.99. And I didn't pay anything more than that. Nothing more, nothing less. So yeah, here are the $20 bills. This is what $2,000 cash looks like. Um, yeah. This is like um, what most people make every month. Well, I don't know. <laughs> what do most people make every month? I don't know. So, yeah, this is uh, pretty nice here. And uh, definitely make sure to check out my other um, replica style um, uh, videos. You can click the card here if you want to um, check out my other ones as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching the Phantom Drawing YouTube channel. And uh, this video went on way too long. But, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up. Give it a comment. Tell me which ones do you like. Do you, do you like the ones from Prop Movie Money? Do you like uh, these faded ones? You know, what do you think about the, the color? Look at that. The I really don't like those stains there. So, I mean, I, I hope if you guys do decide to buy this, those stains aren't there. And, you know, the, it was very inconsistent. Some of the colors, you know, some are greener, some are paler. You know, that is just... Uh, that's definitely, that's definitely a con, so I hope if I do order from, um, you know, the replica style bills again from Bonanza, I do hope I don't have that problem, but, yeah, that's definitely, um, um that's definitely a thumbs down there, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching, share it with a friend, tell me what you think.